In this video, I will show you how to make a parametric facade walls on any building or mesh with easy steps, so don't go anywhere. Let's say I have this cube, and I will shape it as a mesh block just to make things clear to the real deal. I can add some dimensions to it and extrude some parts with a couple of cuts, nothing fancy, basic things to wrap your head around. The facade, for example, will go on those two walls or faces, so I can select them in edit mode and hit P to separate it and work on it alone. You can add extra cuts on this shape before subdivided in edit mode. This way, we end up with square faces, which is better for what we need to do. Now that I ended up with two by two faces, I can select all in edit mode and subdivide the mesh up to 10 or 15 times. Depends on what you need. Another essential thing we need is the tissue add-on. This one is built in Blender, so you only need to open the preferences and enable it. No links, no downloads, all inside your Blender. Now with closed mesh like the Ecosphere, if you select it and hit dual mesh on the tissue add-on, it will generate a new meshes with hexagon faces. However, with our wall here, using the same method might give you a non-symmetrical result. So it's kind of messed up, but we have the tessellate, which help in this case, and many other ones. With the tessellate, we need two shapes. One is your wall, the other is for the hexagon shape or any other shape you want to use. It's all up to you. To get the hexagon shape, you can use a mesh circle, make it on six vertices, scale the radius down, then choose the fill type as n-gon. You also need to complete the shape as a square, and that's easy. You can use the snap tool on vertices to extrude the top side ones at the middle level, then fill the gaps with F key. This way, when we tessellate the wall on this shape, we don't get empty parts. You can also at the end adjust the dimension of this shape to more of a square ratio, but that's optional. Now I have the hex shape selected, I hold shift and select the wall, then hit tessellate. Quite easy, right? No need to change any settings, just hit OK and a new wall with hex pattern is generated. We can now select all the similar faces to the one we need. Maybe exclude the edge row from each side, and let's hit the I key to inset those faces a bit before we work on them. I need to delete those faces, but I will lose selection, so let's assign them to a vertex group. This way, once I make those shapes as gaps, we can highlight the edges again easily. The idea here is to control those gaps between open and close with shape keys and weight paint. You need to hit the plus icon on the shape key area to add two things, the base and key one. Got it? Cool. Next, in edit mode, we need to scale those edges by zero to close them. To do that, switch to individual origin on pivot point control from up top. Make sure you're on edge selection and scale it by zero. If I hit tab now to get out of edit mode, I will go back to those gaps being open but now I have the value to control this from zero to one. And I also have the vertex group field under it, which can give us more control. To fill the last field, we need another vertex group. So in edit mode, select all vertices and assign them to a new group with zero weight or full weight. It's controllable from many angles. After that, you can set the value on max, 
assign the new group in the shape keys, and switch to weight paint mode to see this through. Painting here with blue and red and the color spectrum between them, now in our case blue is wide open, so you can paint with red to close the area you need, or you can flip the entire color to red from weight invert. Make it all closed, then draw with blue to open the parts you want. Again, it's fully customizable at any time you want to fix it, so go crazy with it. And that's about the main idea here. You can modify this later with thickness using Solidify. You can top that with bevel or wireframe modifier. The options are yours to experiment with. We did make a full tutorial on tessellation, so you can watch that. For more info on getting other shapes and operations using the tissue add-on. And that's it. Remember to subscribe, because why not? And see you again next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.